fans? Do you think you know everything about your favorite 80s movies? Well, think again. Today, we are diving into the top 10 little known movie facts from the greatest directors of the 1980s. We all love the classics, from the sci-fi epic of Star Wars to the cult hit of The Breakfast Club. But there's more to these movies than just the on-screen magic. So, let's get started with our first fact. Did you know that in the movie E.T., the alien was originally going to be called Zrek? E.T. phoned home. No, Zrek phoned home. Thankfully, Steven Spielberg changed it to the much more memorable name we all know and love. I had no idea. Now, on to our second fact. In the movie Ghostbusters, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was actually a last-minute addition. Originally, the final film was supposed to be a giant jello monster, but the filmmakers ultimately decided that a giant, fluffy marshmallow man would be much more terrifying. That's just genius. And speaking of genius, did you know that the iconic scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off where Ferris sings Twist and Shot was actually lit sings? Matthew Broderick was actually too sick to sing, so a professional singer was brought in to do the vocals. But that doesn't make the scene any less iconic. A little bit of movie magic ruling, but still a great scene. Moving on to our fourth fact, did you know that in the movie Aliens, director James Cameron had the actors actually fire real guns? Cameron wanted the actors to experience the real recoil of a gun to make their performances more authentic. But don't worry, all the bullets were blanks. Now that's dedication to your craft. And speaking of dedication, did you know that in the movie Back to the Future, Eric Stoltz was originally cast as Marty McFly, but after filming for a few weeks, the filmmakers realized that Stoltz wasn't quite right for the role, so they brought in Michael J. Fox, who had to film all of his scenes after he finished filming Family Ties. I had no idea Michael J. Fox wasn't the original Marty. And speaking of surprises, did you know that the iconic scene in The Shining where Jack Nicholson breaks down the bathroom door was actually filmed with a fake door? The door was made of balsa wood, which Nicholson was able to break down with ease. But when Kubrick realized how easy it was for Nicholson to break down the door, he had it replaced with a much stronger one for the rest of the scene. Double quote, that's some quick thinking. And speaking of quick thinking, did you know that the movie Die Hard was originally supposed to star Frank Sinatra? The movie was based on a book called Nothing Lasts Forever, which was a sequel to The Detective, a movie that Sinatra had starred in. But by the time Die Hard was being made, Sinatra was in his 70s and too old for the role. I had no idea Die Hard was almost a Frank Sinatra movie. And speaking of almost, did you know that director John Hughes originally wanted John Cusack to play Bender in The Breakfast Club? But after Cusack turned down the role, it went to Judd Nelson, who gave a performance that is still iconic to this day. Judd Nelson was the perfect choice for Bender. And finally, our last fact, did you know that in the movie Blade Runner, the tears in Rudger Hoare's eyes during his famous tears in Rain monologue were not scripted? Hoare came up with the tears on the Scott, and they made the scene even more powerful. That scene always makes me cry. And that's it for our top 10 little known movie facts from the greatest directors of the 1980s. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, movie fans.